YouTube. Dirty little table here. Been doing a little bit of knife maintenance today. Oh shit. All choppy. Uh oh. Is it gonna continue? Getting better. Getting better. So I'll just go ahead and start for those of you that are not that are watching the video that are not um, <clears throat> watching the live. Uh, I have never, I don't think, I should probably have checked, but I, but I don't think I've ever done a Paramilitary 2 video. I think I actually did a video called not reviewing the Paramilitary 2. <laughs> and basically, you know, honestly, the funny thing is, I if I was to watch that video again, some of the things I'm probably going to say in this video, what's up, Ajax? <laughs> um are going to be probably mirrored in not only the video that I posted that says, you know, not reviewing the paramilitary too, but probably a lot of it will be also mirrored in the original paramilitary video, you know, that I posted. So um, a lot of my thoughts are kind of the same. You know, the funny thing is I, I've got a couple, I, I did get a couple of requests, oddly enough, to do this vid knife video. So like I just decided, oh, you know what, that's, that's cool. And I just, th there's been some people posting on Instagram really uh, frequently, uh, lately it seems, uh, at, of not only paramilitary twos, but this one, the, the black one, black bladed one. Um, this is one of my only black uh, bladed knives. I don't really love, uh, I just don't love knives with coatings on them. The, the other one that I have is I have a Spyderco Pacific uh, salt with the black coating on it. This one is miles ahead of that coating though. I mean you just kind of like breathe on the the salts coating and it comes right off. This thing has been uh, very durable. Um, I picked this knife up new from the Spider Co factory in Golden, Colorado. I went there, ooh, gosh I don't even know. If you look at my Instagram which is Archmang, A-R-C-H-M-A-N-G. Oh, more coffees ready. Um, I posted like the day after I got it. So I want to say it probably was two years ago-ish, something like that. Um, this knife doesn't see a whole lot of use from me. I have carried it off and on. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's, there's a little bit of love on this knife. This is my wife's favorite knife that I have. Oddly enough, she won't carry it though. She, <laughs> she's like, well, it's too nice though. I'm not carrying it. I'm not going to fuck up that knife. It's just, no. She carries a UKPK, an FRN UKPK um, that I gave her. Whoa. And she really likes that knife. Um, but, uh, you know, this knife right here, the Paramilitary 2, it, 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 it's like a tweet. It's, a, it's just a middle ground knife for me um, in that it, it's not a Delica, but it's not a Sabenza, you know, I guess is a good way to say it. Um, I do have a Delica, I do have an Endura, um, I do have some Sabenzas. Um, yeah, it's, it's so odd. I, I really like the paramilitary too. I, the action is, I've had a couple of them. The action just has been superb. Um, I love the lock. I... I, I like everything about it. I really love the way the paramilitary two looks. Personally, back, nar nar. <laughs> well, I guess so, man. I don't know. It, you know, the thing is, it's so easy to do these live videos that it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's just easy. So, so that's the deal, I guess, is I don't have to do any editing. I don't have to screw with it. I don't have to do anything. I literally push record and it goes. So basically, <laughs> that's just easy. So that's kind of a deal. Plus, I feel like it's fun and maybe I can have some decent content for people that are interested in this stuff, you know? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, you know, it's weird because like it, for me, I feel the same way if I'm carrying this knife as I do if I'm carrying a, just only a Delica and that is I feel under knifed. I know it's like a fantasy. It's like not real 
Um, but I do. I feel under knifed whenever I am carrying this knife. Plus, uh, I just don't know. It's it's weird. Like I would rather dick up and and scratch up and stuff the knives that I really enjoy carrying because then I just kind of make them mine more. So like this knife, I'm 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 much more happy to alter the edge. I'm much more happy to, um, like I said, just kind of, if, it, if I drop it, I don't really care. Where like this knife, I'm just like, ah, I don't love the knife. So if, at some point, I don't know, it feels more like currency than a knife to me, you know, which I'm sure a lot of you guys, you know, understand that. But, you know, it's a big part of it for me is, it really is in the blade, honestly. Like I just, the knives that I enjoy carrying for whatever reason, I like them to be super, like not beefy, but but just super sturdy. You know, the this this Hinderer slicer, it, it, it obviously it doesn't cut as well as this thing, but at the same time, I, that's just not what I need out of an EEC. I don't need laser cardboard cutting capabilities. That's just not just not what I want or need. I want like just a I guess like a multi-tool kind of as a as an EDC. I want to be able to do some scraping and light prying and just whatever with it. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but like, I don't know. I just don't love how big this hole is and how much material and how much, how, what is that? How exactly does that sacrifice the blade? I mean, you can see how thin it is left here at this plunge grind. You know, it's, it's, I just, I just don't love how thin that is. I mean, just for like a comparison, here's a, a roadie, which I love this little roadie. You can see it's like, it's, as, it's, it's thinner than this tiny little roadie there, you know? So I don't know. I guess just it kind of is what it is. Um, the Rips Garage Tech uh, clip is, is freaking awesome. Like I, I have a couple of these. Um, what is the other one on? Oh, you know what? I don't have it on anything. I have a carbon fiber. I have the carbon fiber fluted native and, uh, I did have my other rips garage tech, uh, clip on that native, but I don't really have it on anything right now. Um, but yeah, super nice. I mean, these rips garage tech. Yeah, dude, Maldonado man's threat woman's pet right there, folks. <laughs> um, Dude, the roadie is awesome. Honestly, like this is one of my favorite knives ever. I uh, I am currently married. Struck me as a camp kitchen knife. That was meant as an insult. It's my own. It's a camp kitchen knife. I don't. I don't see that as insulting. I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a great food prep knife. This is just like a, It's a. You know, no offense, but it's like a, this is like a, a Nick Shabazz EDC, you know, where it's like it, somebody who lives in a city, has an office job or something like that. It's, it, this is not a carpenter, like I'm a carpenter and, a, and an outdoorsman and a guide in, in a previous life. And this is not the knife for me. Um, it just really isn't. It, it, does it work? Yeah, sure. Of course it works. Um, but I, I honestly, I would trust a, a native more than I would trust this knife. First off, S35VN is a little bit more tough than S30V, um, and there's just a little more stock there in it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, message retracted. What does that mean? That's that's odd. Um, yeah, the, just real quick, uh, the Rodi is a little beast. You know, honestly, like these, those of you guys that I don't know for whatever reason might be turned off with the Rodi, I should do a review on the Rodi. But this is. A wonderful little knife, man, and and I hate to say it, you can get these for forty five dollars on Amazon. I paid ninety dollars at a brick and mortar store for this knife, just because I was like, I like to support my local brick and mortar store. I don't buy everything from them, but occasionally I'll buy something. Um, usually I'll get like a something cheap from them just for a gift or somebody when I go in there. Um, but I never really, I don't. They don't have anything that I really want. Like they don't have Chris Reeve or, you know. I don't know, zero tolerance or anything like that. I think actually they might have zero tolerance. Anyway, this is the knife. I'm, I am married on paper. Let me see, I cut my hand here. 
I am married on paper, but I'm still we're still doing a party with a wedding and stuff. And this is the package that I've selected for my best boys. I've got two best men and my one groomsman. So best boys and groomsmen, they're getting black roadies with. Uh, um, I haven't picked out the beads yet, but uh, it's definitely going to be Maverick Workshop beads. These beads are just so so well machined. So I think that's going to be a super cool groomsman gift. None of these guys are really our knife guys. So I think I'm hoping they'll put this in their pocket. Won't have any issues with their security and their workplace and whatnot. And they can actually enjoy and carry that. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I hope so. hope they like it. Um, I was hoping to keep it under a hundred bucks. It's going to be with the, unfortunately, like I said, I don't, I don't really condone buying knives from Amazon. I, I really wish people would buy them from like, Honestly, USA Made Blade would be my, my number one recommendation just because I support US made stuff and, 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 I, and that's, uh, it's, it's, it is a priority, but this knife just hits all the base, all, everything I want for these guys that I'm, I'm doing the groomsman's gifts for, you know, is what it is, I guess. Um, back to the paramilitary too. Um, this is a super I really do recommend this knife though it, it, it's just not for somebody who like wants to do scraping prying like I do with my my EDC knife um, not that I always do but that I but I want to be able to um, I actually have a little pry bar on my keychain which honestly gets a lot of fucking use man it's a it's an Atwood um, I think it's a, yeah, it's an at wrench and man, you, you, it doesn't even have any scratches on it. I, I was at the barber a while back and I fixed the barber's freaking clippers with it, <laughs> um, which is pretty funny. Uh, but that's just, I, I, again, I think I've said this before in other videos, it might just be a fantasy, but it's, it's, it's what I want out of my knives, you know? Um, Obviously, S30V is a fantastic blade steel. I would love to see the Paramilitary 2's blade steel be replaced with S35VN because it is that much better, in my opinion. The corrosion resistance difference alone is pretty big, um, in my experience. So, and then, yeah, you get the little bit of toughness, too. What else could I say about this guy, the old Paramilitary 2? It, you know, honestly, it's, it's, it's one of the most popular knives out there for a reason. First off, again, it's super sexy. Like, I mean, the lines on this thing are great. Sal and Eric uh, Glasser really hit it out of the park. I'm sure most people watching the video know that this is Eric Glasser's uh, signature and that's Sal's signature. So this, this knife is a collaboration between father and son, which is awesome, too. I mean, that's super cool. Um, I brushed on the black blade. I, I forget what this is. I guess it's probably DLC. Spyderco's golden um, black blade stuff, which I guess is probably all DLC, is really, really good. Sorry, but that's pretty funny. Um, Paramilitary 2. Yeah, what a great knife. Uh, don't have a whole lot more to say about it unless anybody has any questions. Um, comments, concerns, or smart remarks. Um, some people comment on the blade to handle ratio, I guess I would say. And they're like, oh, I just can't handle that blade to handle ratio, it's crazy. Uh, I just can't imagine how that would even cross somebody's mind. Like, why is that important? That, I don't know, I, I get it, because I'm like, if you're carrying a certain package size thing, you might want to have the most blade or cutting edge in that thing if possible I, I guess i could understand that aspect of it but that's just not really what the goal here is you know i love the um first off i love all knives with a finger choil i i really do like it um the, there's the hinders that are like the choilless hinders and i, I just would never i would never it's not worth another three-eighths of an inch of cutting edge to to lose this little um, bit of comfort, um, in my opinion. So blade to handle ratio on the paramilitary two is not just null and void. That absolutely is, does nothing, um, to just detract from the, the overall 
value or worthwhileness of this knife. Dude, SMGs are incredible. I, they really are, man. I, I, so somebody just commented, Ajax80 just commented, SMGs are super comfortable. They really are. Honestly, like I, I don't know of a more comfortable knife in hand, to be, to be totally honest. The XM18 kind of... The reason I don't have SMGs anymore is because of XM18s. The, I, I feel like it, it, it's as good or better. I wish, if, really what I would love to see, if, you know, Hinderer does all the aftermarket stuff. If they would do like a, a line or a, a handle scale side, like an SMG where the uh, backspacers are all one piece, I, I would just love that, man. They charge out the ass for their... Um, aftermarket scales, especially like titanium and stuff. So I, you know it'd be expensive, but I would pay the big bucks for that I, I handle scale that wraps all the way around. That'd be fucking awesome. I would just love it. Um, yeah, dude. The yeah. Also commented the love the hinder, especially the non flipper. It, it's night and day, honestly. Like this knife is it's my favorite knife. It really is. Like. It's not the best knife that I have. Honestly, I believe the best knife that I have is is my uh, Large and Cozy. This is the best knife that I have, personally. It might even be the best knife that exists if you just go off of specs and the data. Um, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful knife, but not my favorite knife. Um, if I had to sell all my knives, my Large and Cozy would be the last knife I would sell just because my brain says it's the best, so it's the one that I want to keep, you know. But it's not my favorite. This is the one that I carry the most, by far. Um, and then a lot of times I'll piggyback it with this guy. This this knife actually gets quite a bit of pocket time. Um, for sure. Love it. The steel is great on this thing, too. It's N, N690CO. Great freaking steel on it. Also incredibly stainless. I've, I've had this in my pocket swimming in uh, hot springs many many times and uh yeah because i'm a i'm a fucking knife dork man so i gotta have a of course you gotta have a knife in your pocket when you're soaking in the hot springs shit who doesn't do that <laughs> oh my wife thinks i'm just nuts um what else about the paramilitary too though um not a whole lot to say i sanded the corners a little bit with this what i do Whenever I sand, and I, 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 I do some finish work on just about every single knife that I, I buy. And this knife doesn't need it. Chris Reeve knives never need it. Um, most fighter codes I find do need a little bit of decrisping of the edges. So what I do is I get wet sandpaper, like emery paper, super fine. I disassemble the knife. I fill up my kitchen sink with water, and, and I sand because G10 and carbon fiber is, is toxic shit. You don't want that getting in your, in your body at all. So <clears throat> I, I, I sand it in the water, you know, in my kitchen sink. And it just keeps all that debris fucking away. You don't need any mask. You don't need any bullshit. So, yeah, I just kind of, not enough that you can really tell. Most of that, what you can see there is actually from, just from dicking with it in my hands and my hands polishing it to be honest, and maybe the occasional little drop or whatever. Um, when I carry this knife, it's like I make myself carry it, <laughs> honestly. Or I'm like, I have a knife that I consider better in the truck, you know, or whatever, <laughs> or in my backpack. Probably the next video that I'll do, uh, maybe next Saturday, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to keep the trend. I live in a you know, ski town, more or less, in Colorado, and so sometimes I'll go skiing on Saturdays, and, so, and then I, I'm also self-employed uh, carpenter. I just work on the weekends sometimes. But another uh, request that I've been getting, uh, and I probably got like three or four actually, is, is e just an EDC video, um, shit in my backpack and whatnot. So I think that would be a lot of fun. I just have to set it up so I can, I want to be able to set it up so I can still read comments and stuff is, is kind of the deal. Um, so I want to figure that out. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, again, th that's, that's how, what, I, what I've said is how I feel. Like, I, I could just say it over and over again. It's a wonderful knife. It would be my, one of my highest recommendations for somebody who it doesn't have any knives at all. Unless they were somebody who's, like, going to dick it up, you know. It's like, it, yeah. It's a great knife for somebody who doesn't really need a knife. <laughs> 
or or I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. Glad you're back. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, it's yeah, it's fun. It's fun to do these videos. Um, yeah, I guess that's about all I have to say, guys. Paramilitary two. It is what it is, you know. I mean, it, a lot of knives for me would fit in this category. Just about every knife in this price range fits in that category for me. $150 knife? I don't know. You know, it just kind of is what it is. It's fancy, not necessarily delicate, but not necessarily beefy. Um, I would love to see, personally, S35VN be offered as something that's not like a sprint run or not like expensive. Um, and then that would be the, the way to go or like, you know, there's the M4 Something to toughen up the blade would be the biggest thing that I would do But stain resistance is super important to me as well, you know, so I mean it's tough to get all everything you want um, Yeah Well, that's it guys Palabra to madre. Don't let your meat loaf boys and girls